In January of 2020, I visited the Uni Sol Flats in Bolivia. I took the three nights and four day tour, starting at starting from San Pedro de Atacama in Chile. The cost of the tour was 220 US dollars, and I spent five days in Atacama, Chile, to get used to the high altitude. In January of 2020, U.S. passport holders did not require a visa in advance for Bolivia. One can get a visa at the border free of charge. In uh, San Pedro de Atacama, I got some altitude sickness pills and I highly recommend getting those pills. You don't want to get sick. There was a group of 12 people in two 4x4s in my group and the drive is just beautiful lagoons and mountains and deserts <laughs> I didn't want to film too close in case the geyser erupts and you know then that's the end of my trip right there in our three days we passed through several lagoons and this is my first uh, stop at this lagoon with hundreds of pink flamingos rock formations in the desert. I'm not sure of the name of the desert. I think it's Siloli Desert. We stopped to admire some beautiful scenery of the mountains in the background. Just amazing. And past the rough road we hit some rough patches in our drive.
day two and we stopped at this lagoon for lunch. Day to evening as we headed towards our hotel for the night we can see the salt flats at a distance. Also day two we stayed in a salt hotel, a, ho a hostel or hotel made out of salt. Day three early in the morning before sunrise we headed to the salt flats. This was a once in a lifetime trip for me and here I am taking a time lapse video from my GoPro action camera. It had recently rained so end of January and February is the best time to go because of the rainy season it gives you the mirror effect. The biggest mirror in the world. And this is where we are having some fun in the salt flats in Bolivia. What an amazing group of people I was with. <laughs> Later that evening, in the evening we visited the train junkyard in Uni Bolivia, followed by dinner and live music. Thank you for watching my video and do share and like. Thanks again.